Now we're going to work backwards. And instead of using a cuboid, we're going to go back to a cube. We're going to find the unknown dimension of a cube given the volume. So let's remember that formula that we've talked about. The volume equals length times width times height. Now the important thing to remember for a cube is that all the dimensions of a cube are the same. So the length equals the width and equals the height. So because the three of these are equal, I'm just going to call all three of them S. And S is going to stand for the side length of the cube. So I'm going to rewrite this formula to be S cubed. V equals S cubed. So let's take a look at part A. V equals S cubed. Well, the volume here is 27. So I need a number that multiplied by itself twice gives me 27. I can also think, this, think of this as the cubed root. I could say S equals the cubed root of 27, which is 3, or what number multiplied by itself two times gives us 27? Well, 3 times 3 times 3 does equal 27. So that's how I figured out 3. 3 is the side length of my first cube. And I'm actually going to put feet there because I don't want to forget my label. For part B, I'm going to do the same thing. V equals S cubed. So I'm looking for a number that multiplied by itself two times gives me 216. So I can do that, or I can simply say S equals the cubed root of 216. And the cubed root of 216 is 6. So the length of cube B is 6 feet. Lastly, for part C, we're going to do the same exact process. V equals S cubed. So 1,000 equals side cubed. So side equals the cubed root of 1,000, which is simply 10. So the length of cube C is 10 feet.